Hey guys, Chronic Override here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a free server for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If this tutorial helps you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting new tutorials every week. If you guys need help with anything, you can always join my Discord server or hop into my Twitch chat. I stream every Wednesday. Links in the description below. Alright, let's jump into it. So the first thing we need to do is install the server software. The software only runs on Windows and Linux computers. So we're going to go and open up our web browser and we're going to navigate to this website. The link will be in the description below. And depending on whether you're on Windows or Linux, you're going to click on agree and then download. And it's going to download this bedrock server file as you guys can see here. And then once it's done downloading, we're going to open it up. and I'm gonna drag it onto my desktop. From here, we wanna extract it. So we're gonna right click and extract all, and then we can hit extract. Once it's done extracting, this window will open up, and then you can just double click on Bedrock Server, the one that says application next to it. If this window pops up, you can just click on more info and then hit run anyway. And then you can hit allow access. And you'll see a command prompt window open and it'll say server started. Then you guys can just close this window out. So once you close that command prompt window, you're going to want to scroll down in this folder to the server properties file and open that up. And then in here, you'll see all the settings that you can change for your server. So you can change the game mode, you can change the difficulty, you can allow cheats, the max players, so on and so forth, and all the settings will go down the list. Once you change anything on here, guys, you're going to want to do file and then save. And then you can close this out. Once you guys have your server properties all set up, you're going to want to go ahead and open up Bedrock Server Application to start running the server again. And then once it says server started, we're going to want to open up our web browser and we're going to go to whatsmyip.org. The link will be down in the description below. And this will give you your IP address up here, guys. Mine will be blocked out because you do not want to give your public IP address out to anyone because you can get hacked. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is set up port forwarding so that anybody connecting with your external IP address can connect to your server. To do this, you're going to have to log into your router. Everybody's router is individually different. For example, mine, I have a Google router. I can't connect to mine through the computer. I actually have to do it through an app on my phone. So I'm going to link a website down below where you can find out the instructions on how to log into your specific router. Once you're logged in, you want to find the advanced network settings and go to port management. I'm on my phone on the phone app, so I found the port management section and I'm gonna go ahead and press the plus button. And then I need to find my computer, which is where the server is hosted. So that's here. And I'm gonna hit next. And then you wanna just change the internal and the external port to the port number that's in your server properties file. So mine is 19132. And I'm gonna put the same thing, 19132. This screen might look a little bit different for you guys, but again, you want the internal and the external port to be 19132, or if you change the number in the server properties, this has to be that number. And then you want to check either both or TCP and UDP, or if your router doesn't have both, you'll need to set up one rule for TCP and then another one for UDP. And then once you do all that, you can hit done. And now we can move on to the next part. So now I'm gonna show you how you can set up a subdomain which allows you to hide your IP address and you can give this subdomain out to anybody who you want to connect to your server. Okay, so you'll wanna navigate to this website, freedns.afraid.org, and you'll wanna register for a free account. As soon as you set up your account, you can click on registry here on the left, and then you can select any one of the domains from the list, or you can search for something that's relevant. I'm just going to use Minecraft Noob since we're basically setting up a Minecraft server. You're going to want to leave the type as A. You can change the subdomain to whatever you want. And then the destination is your IP address. I'm going to black this out again because you don't want to give out your public IP address, guys. 
if this doesn't automatically fill itself in for whatever reason, you can just go to that What's My IP website and copy and paste your IP address in here. Once you do that, you'll want to fill out the CAPTCHA down here. I am not sure what that one says, so we're going to try and get a better one. Okay, let's type that in. I believe that says R Z J O. And then we can hit save. And now we have a subdomain. All right, and once you do that, this is the subdomain that you would give to anybody that you want to connect to your server. So we're just gonna go ahead and open up Minecraft. And we'll hit play. We'll go to servers, add a server. You can type in whatever you want into the server name. And then for the server address, you're gonna wanna type in that subdomain. So mine was chronic override dot minecraft noob dot com. And then this port number is this, it should be left as default unless you changed it in server properties. And then once you have that, you can either hit save or we're gonna hit play to go right into it. And then it'll load you into your server. If this tutorial helped you guys, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.